<laughs> Enter the bump. Kiss the bump, babe. Like via the, that's funny. Hey guys, we're doing our six month uh, update. We're super excited. As you can see, we've definitely grown. What do you think? Me or you? Me. Oh yeah, you've grown. <laughs> the baby is getting bigger. We're actually filming this right in the nursery, so I'll give you a quick tour after. But um, what? Um, since the last time we guys uh, we talked to you guys, we've had a lot happen. We've moved. We have now a nursery. We did our gender. Reveal. We didn't move to a nursery. We moved to a home, and we built a nursery. Yes, we created a nursery room in our new home. So I guess we could start there. Moving. Pregnant wasn't too bad, actually. I was part of people telling me to put things down and not to lift heavy things, but I still tried. It yeah, was well, because we had all the help, yeah, but it's pretty good, yeah. Well, and it's so cool just to have places for things. Like we have like a designated room for a baby, and then a designated room for like the kitchen. Like, well, we were in a small loft with one room, yeah. so yeah, big difference. What's your favorite part about the house? Backyard. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I love that too. But yeah, so we moved and we had our gender reveal. So what was your feelings so when you found out that it was a girl, babe? We kind of thought it was a girl all along. Um, and uh, yeah, it was really exciting. Yeah. But the look on your face and like to see you like jump for joy, it was, it was pretty good, yeah. Yeah, surprise. So I was like on Team Girl. And, but if you remember the video we did with the gender quiz, like it was high, like, it te like my symptoms were yeah, boy. True. Um, which Turns was, out they're all myths. Yeah, which was one of the last videos we posted. And, uh, but I was still on Team Girl. I really wanted a girl. I prayed for a girl every day. But when it came down to it, because of the symptoms that I was having or not having, I thought that I was probably having a boy. But I didn't even want to say that out loud. So I remember the night before the reveal, my mom was here. She said, what do you really think it is? Like, what do you think this the chalk's going to be, pink or blue? And I was like, I think it's going to be blue. Like, I really wanted it to be pink, like more than I could describe, but I just thought it was going to be blue. And she kind of laughed because she thought the same thing. But then when it was pink, I was just like ecstatic. Like, it was probably the best top three moments of life, I would say, for sure. Would you say? Yeah. Probably. It feels much more real now. Yeah. When you know. For sure. Like, it's yeah. like immediately, it's like you can picture them and visualize them and connect with them more. So it was really, really cool. Great to have our family and friends there too for the moment. I'm glad we did that. Mm -hmm. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. awesome. We weren't sure if we we're going to just, because of COVID, just do it the two of us or kind of wait it out to see if we could actually do something. And I'm glad we waited. It was good. For most people, that would have been the first gathering they've been at since um, since March, really. Yeah. Um, I was in July. So. Yeah, I know. It was, it was exciting to both see people be at a new house, but then the gender reveal part of it was just, yeah. Yeah. Made the pregnancy pretty real. Like now you think of it as a yeah, for boy sure. or a girl. For and, sure. Yeah. Um, I've definitely been feeling way more kicks, and I think you've been feeling more kicks too. Me? Yeah. Like because, From you? Yeah, because at first, like, I'd have to get Josh to put his hand on my belly for, like, five minutes before he, like, maybe feel one. Yeah. But you can pretty well put your hand on my stomach at any point and feel it within a few yeah, she's minutes. Kicking, she's kicking a lot. She's now. kicking a lot. And, like, kind of... At night. I'm trying to figure out what position she's in because it feels like she's kicking everywhere. She move. Doesn't she move around? Yeah, I think so. But, like, she's getting big enough to, to the point where... Like she can't necessarily move like, like flip. Yeah, yeah, she can't like somersault so no. So yeah, we are six weeks. So I think it's about 13 inch. She's 13 inches long about two pounds Which is 13 crazy. inches long mm -hmm. like bigger than a foot long sub. Really? Sub, but like skinny foot long That's how you measure a bigger than a sub. <laughs> bigger than a foot long <laughs> um, But she's like they would be skinny and apparently this week their eyes open and like they start to like blink and like We'll see the dark Placenta they're in. <laughs> um, but in other things, uh, tomorrow I have my glucose test for gestational diabetes, so hopefully that all goes well and um, that's not an issue. I haven't had any symptoms or anything, so I'm not thinking that I, anything will come up. Yeah, so basically we found out that I had um, marginal placenta previa, which means that it was like the placenta is marginally covering my cervix, so if it didn't move up, away from the cervix and I would have to have a planned C-section. 
Um, that's really the only big uh, effect that it has, but 90% at that point uh, usually do move up by 30 weeks, so that's some checkups coming soon. Um, so hopefully that moves back to you're not supposed to have the fun stuff until it does. <laughs> Cutting it out. I'm finding my hips getting so sore when I'm going to bed at night. So I like flip. I don't do you hear me flip like multiple times throughout the night. Flip. Yeah. It sounds like it's a full on transport truck. <laughs> it is. It's yeah. like I'll be on my right side and then you kinda of have to like heave <laughs> your way over to the left side to get the your yeah, belly. You over. make like all kinds of noises when you do that. I try to be very quiet when I do that. You but go I, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> but I do it like a bunch of times throughout the night because my hips get really sore. Yeah. And I think I may have pulled a muscle right here in my last boot camp class because when I lay on this side and like, you know, your body stretches up a bit just to like lay on your pillow, um, it really hurts right there. So I try to avoid that. Yeah, and other, other news, I guess you're eating a lot more, snoring a lot louder and peeing your outfits off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is very true. I mean it a lot. Apparently I'm snoring a lot. Louder. Um, louder. It's not possible to snore anymore. <laughs> but there's, there's just variations in the pitch. Yeah. Right now they're really deep and like what? strong. Can you give an example? Uh, it, it doesn't sound like someone that looks like you could produce a noise like that. It's like it's really deep. Yeah. And Josh would be like, sometimes he'll kind of like match me, he'll go match me. Well, what do you do? Like, uh, I'm being very loud and I'll go, Oh, okay, I'll stop. Like, I have a way to stop, but I don't. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then the peeing. I don't know if I'm just like still like low or if I what have. Do you mean low? Like, maybe it's a lot of pressure on my bladder or I don't know what it uh, is. Or maybe I have to do low. some more like Kegel exercises to tighten it up or something because <laughs> I am just <laughs> peeing everywhere. Like if I if I laugh <laughs> if I laugh too hard or if I like if I sneeze oh if I sneeze I that's what it is every time you your elevator bad I right? actually have to cross my legs and if I don't cross my legs or grab my crotch soon enough <laughs> I pee like and I'll get up to go to the bathroom. No, you full on pee the whole thing. No, no, it's not like a full pee, it's like more like a dribble, like like two tweens maybe in the size of wetness. But anyway, moving along. Um yeah, so we have one really big piece of news that we really want to share and that is her name. How oh, should we, we do this? That. Yes. Okay, so we thought about we thought about this name probably like maybe a few weeks into knowing we were pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, it was, name was a, a conversation we had for a while. Yeah. Yeah, we um, you know, we were talking about it for a bit, and this one came up pretty much right away. Um, I was sold on it like immediately, and I think you were pretty sold on it mm -hmm. immediately. Yeah. There's one other name that Josh likes, but we're probably going to use it for another baby. So uh, we were kind of debating between the two, but for her, her name is going to be Lively Grace. Pepper. I love it. Lively. And I've been like also saying lively Lou. I just love it. Lively, lively, lively. A few things that like I really wanted was a name that I didn't have like a reference or association with in any other way and I don't really for lively. I mean there's Blake Lively and I really like Blake Lively but I don't that's know. That's the influence, right? Yeah. Like that's kind of. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of like how I thought of it and um uh but I don't know any first named people like named Lively, so I think it's pretty unique. And mm -hmm. I like the adjective Lively. I think it really it reflects probably my personality and yours too. Like we're very like active, mm -hmm. just full of life kind of people. So, uh, and we want that for her too. So. My middle name is Lee, your name is Ashley. Mm -hmm. And Josh actually picked Grace. He's always liked Grace. Mm -hmm. And any particular reason you just like, Before he said, like, he felt like he'd just been uh, less than like, so. I guess that's what Grace means, right? Yeah. Like something that you don't deserve and just, you know, you know yeah. you have a good hand kind of thing. So, yeah. 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 So, I'm glad they graced with it. And, uh, yeah, we're 
we're excited to share the rest of our journey with you guys. And this is where we're at at six months. Anything else? I'll give you guys a little nurture tour and I'll show you those too. But yeah, we'll keep you guys posted as things go on. We've got some big appointments coming up, ultrasounds. We're heading to Newfoundland for Thanksgiving for baby moon, so that'll be fun. Some baby showers and all that jazz. But yeah, for now I'll show you the rest of the nursery and hope you have a great week. So here we have a little mirror and this is actually gonna be where we put her change table. And so I'm hoping to get this wicker change table that will match these baskets. That'll go kind of at the top. And so we'll kind of move this, but I just have it there for now. And we've got her drawers set up and we've got some cute jam jams in there already. And I absolutely love, I'll show you this first. So here's some of her ultrasound photos. So the first ones, I need to get a better frame, but I just stuck them here for now. The first ones, this is the, these two are the latest. You see her little nose. And then this is actually her leg and her little feet. And then we've got the classic book here and her teddy from Uncle Andrew. Then out here we have some nice natural lighting, but we also have the blinds that will keep it nice and dark for her and her crib and some cute little paintings and rocker. I need to get a new rug. This is just a placeholder. I'm probably going to put that up. I painted that, so it's kind of cute. And then we got her closet. So we got some great shelving. And then if you saw my Instagram post, I've used uh, shower curtain rods from the dollar store just to create more um, hanging space. So this is all like zero to six months and then we've got 6 to 12 and then some other um, 12 to 18 that some friends gave me from their babies so lots of fun stuff